Good morning, Nifty World. It's 5.30 a.m. It's time for some coffee and NFTs. Today we're gonna look at Farming Tales, which is this new game that you can actually play on the Wax blockchain. Uh, it is still very early on this game. It is something that is coming and going to be more exciting as we go. Uh, at least that's what they claim. So let's quickly dig into it. So they have a white paper out where you can actually read uh, that they are connecting a real world farm to this game where you can actually get some honey and saffron sent to you in real world. At least that's what they claim, which is pretty cool. Uh, so you, that is one part of this game. It is actually a physical farm where you can own part of their production. If I understood this correctly, uh, you should. Uh, if that is interesting for you, you should dig into this white paper. But today we are not going to look at that part. We are going to look at the other part, which is if we go down all the way down here and we increase the size a bit, so it's easier for you to read. We, they have this build your NFT farm on the blockchain, which is funny because I'm sitting right now in the NFT farm in Sweden. This is a farm bought by NFTs. Uh, so that is the NFT farm. This is, they, are, they are the fake ones. They, they are actually growing f stuff that we're not doing that. Uh, that's all, all good, all good, all in fun. So, uh, so you can have real land in our real farms and produce real honey and saffron. So that's what they are up to. But if you go down here, they have a game. Farming Tales the game aims to offer its players new NFT based play to earn gaming experience. Each player will be able to get his own farm, which he will be will have to grow and improve thanks to an NFT. Okay, so you will actually be able to build your own farm. They say that uh, down here, if we you can see the different kind of things that will come, animals, plants that you can grow, you can you can raise different kind of animals. Uh, farm buildings, uh, everything here. If you go to the website, which is farmingtales.io, you can open this and you can find a white paper. I will link it below as well in the in the description. So you can find it here. And uh, if you go down, they say that everything can change. So we shouldn't take everything too serious. But what they are doing right now is they are building out a game where you can actually walk around and farm. So they want it to be. The, uh, this fun and interesting farming game. So this is what they have so far. So if you just go into the game and you go, you will see a game here where you can actually walk around. I have turned on the sound on this because I do not like uh, the loud sound in uh, any game pretty much. So here you can see that they have, they are growing things over here. Whoa, so you can walk around uh, among the plants uh, and everything. So this is already working in, in the in the browser, on the blockchain, uh, the, the connection to blockchain is very limited. You cannot do a lot of things right now, but you can actually walk around. You can see how things are. You can play around. You can try to jump over where, place, where you shouldn't be able to. You can actually get across here with the, in the open space. You can go and look at the hens and everything and see. So this is a farm. I guess this is the size of a plot. We will have a farm when we are ready and we will be able to uh, get animals where we are able to uh, pr get crops, produce everything. We can go inside a house. Uh, so there is a lot of potential of what can come to this game, what can happen and what, uh, yeah, how, how everything works. So if you haven't played this before, you move around with your keyboard. So WASD and your mouse. Uh, and if you want to interact with something, you need to hold E. And th this is the thing. Then you uh, you can see the mouse on my screen. Then I can change the volume. So I need to hold the E button. I can log in. Now I'm already logged in. I have some cest already. So and if I hold E and hover the, the, the scooter, I can actually press it. And I can see ready to harvest tomatoes, one eggs, two, 22 cest. So I can hit uh, harvest and then it's done. And then... You see, Sesteri to claim is now 22. So that is the claiming. And this I can do every so often, depending on which kind of NFTs I have that produce different kind of uh, crops. And I can actually go in here in the shop. I need to go into the ring and then I can go here and I can see how much I, I need to pay to, to, to buy different kind of things. So come on hand here. If I want to buy this, I can, I, I can sign this with my blockchain account, but I am not going to do this. I don't want to buy more of this right now. So in here you can go around, you can explore the house and everything. So I think like 
I'm not a huge fan of the controllers. I don't like this E button that I have to press it to interact with everything. Uh, I want to be able to run more fast. Uh, I, there's a lot of things I would love to see, but I think this is a great first concept. When you actually go in here and you claim your CES tokens, this is actually a, a transaction on the blockchain. The harvesting is not. So you can actually approve this. I'm logged in here and then I will get my transaction. And I can see that I am actually doing the claim on the farming games contract on the WAX blockchain. Approve. And now I don't have that to claim. It's in my inventory instead on the blockchain. So I can use that and I can go to wax.alcore.exchange. I can actually go here. They are already trading this here. And this has been pumping pretty hard. As you can see here, this is the last few days. It started at 0.02 WAX. And now it's at 0.66 WAX. So this is something that is pumping right now, doesn't mean that it will continue. But this game is not only pumping there, we can also see it's the second biggest collection traded on Atomic Hub right now. Uh, you can go to Farming Tales and to play this, you will actually need to have a few different things. So we can go to my inventory and I can show it to you. Farming Tales. I bought a few packs, so I have, uh, have a few other things that I cannot use yet. To, to actually play, you need one of these early adopter diorama. This is what you need right now to play. That might change later. Uh, but you need one of those. And you can buy them on the market. And then you need to have a vegetable garden. If you want tomatoes, this is a vegetable garden. And then you need to have hens if you want eggs. So that is what you, you can do right now. You can get hens, you can get uh, tomatoes. You need a vegetable garden and you need some, some chickens. So market farming tails. So always mark the collection you want to do because then you can do search and then you minimize anything going wrong. And these uh, NFTs are actually pumping pretty hard. So garden, we can change here to price lowest. And we can see that they go for s almost 1700 wax, $500 right now. Uh, so these are going up pretty fast. If we go to the last sales, we can see this... Uh, in the beginning, they were selling for $24, $30 the first few days. You could buy them really cheap and then people started noticing and we are up here where they are actually, well, at the peak, they were $600. Now they are down to 500 again. So we will see where that goes, how that uh, happens. But we can see that this game, the NFTs and the token is pumping. Uh, what that means long term, we don't know how this will play out. We have no idea. Uh, but right now you can go and you can find some hens. They are $300 a pop, uh, which is, I don't know, I think that is more expensive than a uh, physical hen in real world, if that is what you want. And we can see this nice, someone accidentally sold it for way less than they, they should have for 400, I think. Yeah. So we can see that they started at 150 uh, dollars uh, well not not that long ago a few days ago and now they are up at 330 dollars so th these nfts are moving they're moving each of these dots are a sale so they're moving pretty fickle we have 3176 sales of this nft already uh, which means that they are trading you, you can actually go and you can actually trade these things and there are different kind of hens. The red hen is more expensive. And the red hen has two units of egg in two hours and 10 minutes. So depending on how often you want to claim, because what you need to do, you need to actually go into the game and you need to harvest here manually. You press the scooter, you hold E, you press the scooter, and then you can claim your tokens. That is how it works. Uh, and this will give two eggs every two hours and 10 minutes. The other one is one egg every hour. So if you are able to go here every hour, the white hen will be more efficient. But if not, this will be a better option. So Farming Tale, so far we have a super simple interface. Well, you can run around, you can explore it, you can have fun. But it, the function is rather simple. All you can do with the blockchain right now is you can go and you can harvest. Uh, it will read the NFTs from your account. To play, you need to have that item that whitelist you. Uh, and if you have that, you are good to go. You can you can do whatever you want in this in this game and and uh, explore, jump around, have fun, have a laugh. Uh, long term, I don't know how this will play out. I know that like if you open the packs that they sell you will get some silos you get pink pigs you get the stable you can get a barn 
Um, I have a lot of different buildings here. Uh, and that is the kind of things like geese and, and uh, things like this. They will be able... They It looks like they will be in the game soon. I don't know what soon means. I don't know when I can actually use this. And right now, if you are a speculator like me, you can look at the hen, what, which people can use right now. And that is at 1100... Uh, 28 wax is the lowest listing and if you go and look at uh, like this stable is 300 wax if you go and look at these geese it's 85 wax if you go and look at, at different kind of things uh, they are very they are much lower priced than the ones that you can use right now um, that is usually how it works people are only looking at right now they are not looking at the future uh, so we will see how this plays out perhaps there will be a, a big limit on how many farm animals you can have on your farm how many buildings and everything uh, we will see how this plays out we will see what happens uh, yeah so this is the game this is farming tales not a lot of things to do right now on it if you like this you should probably read the entire white paper figure out that you can get some epic cows for milk and carrots and everything like this uh, and farm it and this token is tradable the nfts are tradable uh, and actually the volume is rather big let's let's before we finish this video let's just go to farming tales and we go to the collection and we go to farming tales we can go down and we can look at the secondary market volume and we are up to six hundred thousand dollars per day in trades the last few days well we're a little bit less less five hundred thousand dollars per day here so they are trading pretty well right now there's a, a secondary market trading for 2.8 million dollars of these nfts and we can see that the the top sellers and the top buyers uh, in this list we can see that the main guys have not made that much money on the overalls so there's a lot of people in here doing these trades doing the the smaller and the bigger trades the volume is nice so that's always uh, good we don't know if the price will keep going up that is something that only speculators will play with uh, but hey it's fun there is something new coming so that's it for today this was some fast farming tales in the morning with some nft and coffee i mostly talked didn't have so much time to drink coffee so i will do that and thanks over and out peace